What up, folks? It's TBS here. We've got another G.I. Joe classified series figure to check out. This is G.I. Joe Craig Rock and Roll McConnell. He looks like my buddy Tekka on the right there, man. It's kind of funny. I'll have to mention that on Facebook at some point. It's kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. But anyways, um, yeah, dude, rock and roll. This goes back to the way old school days, man. It reminds me of my cousin Zero. He had this figure, man, and I remember seeing it. I'm like, oh, he got rock and roll. Um, and it's like all the other old Joes we used to have back in the day. And I think I actually still have a vintage version of this guy, a little O-ring version somewhere in my closet. But uh, yeah, this is a welcomed addition, man. Any of the old school Joes, man. I'd like to get Zap and... Um, who else? Zap would be cool. And uh, Flash. Um, I'm trying to think of who else, man. Just all the, all the straight arm Joes. All like the first like series Joes would be just awesome. We were kind of kind of getting there, but not close. Not close enough. Steeler, you know, that'd be cool too. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, here's a look at the back. He's a machine gunner. And um, yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, rip him open and check him out. Actually, before we do that, we got to read the damn file. And here we go. Machine Gunner, rock, uh, code name Rock and Roll, file name McConnell Craig S. Um, let's see, primary military specialty infantry, secondary military specialty PT instructor. That's a uh, physical trainer or whatever, physical training. Um, birthplace Malibu, California. Let's see, grade E5, Rock and Roll was a surfer in Malibu. Prior to enlistment, he was also a weightlifter and played bass guitar in local rock and roll bands. That's funny. <laughs> Makes you think of uh, that, was it that um, Cold Slither band of Zartans or whatever. Um, is familiar with all NATO and Warsaw Pack light and heavy machine guns. Graduated Advanced Infantry Training School, uh, training top of class, uh, specialized education, covert op school. Let's see, rock and roll is cunning but naive, forceful but shy, possesses a strong sense of loyalty to his teammates, and is sincerely concerned about their well-being a man of honor and integrity who can be counted on to hold the line it's absolutely who you need when you're fighting those snakes man when you're fighting cobras you need to do like that on your team anyways i'm gonna shut up we're gonna get scout and check him out. Alrighty, y'all and here he is man this is gonna be rad dude this be awesome 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 sauce Let's get that on cut man this knife is so dull now i've ripped open so many toys over the last year or so ah with this freaking knife with both my knives uh, there you go once again you got some cool black and white rendering of rock and roll right there so that's rad that looks cool it does look a hell of a lot like Tekka dude it's hilarious it's really hilarious um let's get this guy to stand Platoon, all right let's see yeah he looks badass dude I don't know why I'm gonna say that about all the good old school Joes any Joes really it's nice to get Joes to be honest with you Short Fuse was the first Joe I got. I think most of people who have tuned in to me know that, that the Short Fuse was the first one I got. I think I was at Kmart in um, Anderson Mill. It's not too far down the road from me. But that, that Kmart doesn't exist anymore, so yeah. Uh, sadly. Uh, here's his weapons. Oh, wow. We've got, we've got some cardboard protecting it. I guess so it doesn't warp, so that's cool. Good one on them for that. That's awesome. Got his helmet. This helmet's pretty cool. Let me see, get a little bit closer on look on that. That is cool. Wow, it's all teched out, man. New school. Hang 10. That's funny. Cowbug, dude. That's rad. Little pouch right there. That's cool, man. It's a nice helmet. Um, let's see. Got this ammo pack thing or whatever. I guess you got to fit it onto his gun. Bullets to feed through his gun, his machine gun. Oh, he had a, he had a walkie. Let's see. There's a is that a Glock or whatever? But uh, let's see. Some more bullets and a fist and his Ronnie James Dio hand. So that's awesome. He's got a Spider-Man whip pants with the tattoo on there. Oh, that's like a skull. Hold on. Let me see if we can get closer to that. Look at that. That's like a skull with fangs or something. That's cool, man. That's pretty gnarly. And here's his walkie-talkie. So we got his walkie. It's got a gummy antenna, so that's cool. So you go with that. And that's pretty much it. No, oh, and he's got a, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, he's got his, his rock, rock out hand, man. That's right. Let's get a little closer look at Rock and Roll himself. Nice face sculpt, man. Yeah, 
That's cool. It's all bearded. It's got his bullet, his bullet bandolier thing. Got a canteen belt. He's got more tats. He's a heavily tatted dude. He's got some more, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, but it looks pretty cool, whatever it is. It's like a heart or something, or I don't know what the heck it is. It's pretty neat. It goes all the way down his arm and his bullet bracelet. Then there's that skull again, because that goes with that hand. And then um, he's got a koi fish. Oh my God, that's so hilarious. I hate koi fish tattoos. I know some people close to me that have them and like, um, like an ex-girlfriend, stuff like that. There's a skull. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm always like, I'm get a koi fish or an octopus or a peacock or something or whatever. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to offend anybody that has those tattoos, but that, I don't know, they're, they're dated. They're dated. Anyway, it's not like I got any great tattoos anyways. Um, but <laughs> not that I care, but uh, yeah. Oh man, we gotta check out his machine gun. Here's a look at his gun. It's got these two little stands. That's badass. That's awesome. That thing is cool. And you can put a fire effect on it too if you want, so that's cool. That's rad, man. You can hold it right here. That's badass. That is cool, man. Dig it, man. Dig it, dig it, dig it. That's badass. Next thing we gotta do is, uh, well, I guess we gotta go through articulation. I don't see why, because we all know what the hell articulation they have. I don't see what's the point of that half the time. It's because we all know what he's gonna do. It's not like they're gonna, just have the same articulation on all the guys and then one they're gonna make and he's just gonna have like totally different stuff or whatever, but it's usually the same. You got the drop down hips, all that. He's got these cool ass holsters. That's cool. Yeah, really cool, man. I dig him. I digs him. He is cool, man. He is cool. He's really cool. Next thing we do, I gotta do is just get him accessorized. All right, folks, and here's uh, rock and roll all posed up, <laughs> ready to rock out, <laughs> rock out with this, with this uh, sock out or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, that's awesome, man. You can feed the bullets uh, from his belt to his gun, or you can attach it uh, from those two pegs to his gun. But you probably want to, I don't know, maybe super glue it or something. I don't know, because it doesn't seem like it'll stay that well. But yeah, he looks rad, dude. He is cool. This is an awesome figure. He's got the horns up, ready to rock out, man. Now I've got Dio stuck in my head, but yeah, still, like, oh, he's, he's badass. This is a really good figure. Really good version of rock and roll, man. He poses well. He's, he is awesome, dude. This is a sick-ass figure. This is so sick. He looks so awesome. Ready to pump some Cobras full of lead, man. That's badass. He is great, man. That's a great freaking figure, dude. He's awesome. It's sick, man. This is a nice new rendition of him, man. He's, he looks badass. Sick, 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 sick. Anyways, that's our look at uh, good old rock and roll. Um, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if you're going to get this figure or not, man. He's really worthy. Uh, he's available on Amazon, Amazon Prime, so you can get it from Amazon pretty quick. Anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good one. All right, later.